Just thinking about using the, uh, the Pluto for the ATV and getting a bit more power out. I had a very quick look this last week at uh, some possible amplifiers. Um, by no means comprehensive, but uh, just a very quick look. Charles tells me that on 5.7 gigs, that's all we're getting out of the, the Pluto. You'd expect it to be a bit lower because it's out of its normal band, but uh, that's not very much to play with. So I had to look around for uh, various amplifier chips and uh, found these. These are usually used for linear amplification for Wi-Fi with um, QAM64 modulation, so they do have to be very linear. So you can see the, uh, the linear power is quite a lot less than the, uh, the max power, 10 dB there. As, uh, um, these are all uh, gain ratios, so you can see you can get much more power out of these chips um, than the, the linear power. And it turns out these are the chips that are being used in the FMATV modules that we heard about earlier. So in theory, it should be able to break the connection between the modulator and the PA chip and feed the Pluto straight into it. Obviously, there's... Or, or even buy one, because they're only about eight quid, the transmitters. Exactly, yeah. Um, so, a quarter of a milliwatt, so not really worth bothering with that one. Um, it depends on what you want. If you want 10 milliwatts, then you may have a bigger amplifier that uh, you can drive with 10 milliwatts. Um, so you get 25 milliwatts out of that, and 100 or so out of that. Um, these are getting a bit better now, but the, uh, the real peachy one is this one. And they're actually available, surprisingly. Um, you can't actually solder them because they're these silly under, under chip pads, but we could have some made up and uh, put on boards. So this looks like the, uh, the one to go for. Another chip you may see in those modules is the, uh, the 6705, which is the, the main modulator, which I believe has a few milliwatts out on its own. So, uh, allegedly, this one uses the, the Skyworks chip. Um, 12 quid. <laughs> with a fan and a heat sink <laughs> and it's quite a handy FM ATV transmitter in its own right so if I've ordered one of these not from here so, um, I ordered it from eBay there were four dealers with them I ordered one it all disappeared from eBay completely so multi-personality Chinese dealers I reckon but um, has anyone had anything from DX.com I haven't used them before no. Oh. Well, they seem to have gone off eBay, but uh, chances are they'll be back. So, and um, allegedly, if you never know what might change in the meantime, stuff from China could uh, could have anything in it. But uh, I've got one of these coming from eBay anyway, so we'll see what happens. So you you can't really go wrong for that price. If it does turn out, you can get. Uh, let's go back to that one. We need the gain of 1600. If you got a quarter of a milliwatt times 1600 is 400 milliwatts out. So that should be equivalent to, say, 10, 12 watts on, on FM. So quite uh, potent. Um, and these in some of the FM ATV transmitters have been driven to 2.5 watts out. I've got one of those coming as well. So uh, goodness knows how the little things don't melt, because they're only about 4 millimetres square. But <laughs> But uh, we'll see what happens when that arrives. Be careful when you're ordering a TS-352 that you order the right sort of TS-352. Otherwise, you might get one of these by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> it won't do much of your ATV signal, but your lawn will be fabulous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Looking at higher power amplifiers, uh, again not exhaustive, I found these two. Um, actually I have this one, I forgot to bring it in on loan, so I haven't opened it up. Uh, both of these are claiming 5 watts out. But So you think, oh it's uh, for Wi-Fi, it must be linear. But if you look at the spec again, 
it's five watts is the P1 point, so you've got to be 10 dB below that. Um, and suspiciously, these chips have the same number of pins and the same input and output as the, Sky, the Skyworks chip. So I reckon these are just pairs of Skyworks driven to 400 milliwatts each and giving you your 800 milliwatts linear out. 3% EVM, EVM is a sort of equivalent of MER and Charles tells me that 3% is quite good. So that looks like the linear power we'd aim for. But um, because they've, they've uh, brought the gain down on these anyway to work with the FM modules. So these are really fine for the, the FM modules but they don't really give us much for, for digital. Certainly not at the, at the price anyway, we can do a lot better. And you can actually buy the, the PCB. Um, although it said it will not ship to the UK, so not sure what was going on there. So fine for FM, but uh, not so much for uh, for um, digital. Um, so we wait and see what happens when this uh, this TS three five two arrives. If you can actually just patch into it and get four hundred milli milliwatts out of the uh, of the the Pluto, and then presumably we need to look at another level of amp to go uh, to go from there. Just a few bits of information, there's some of the, uh, <coughs> the links I looked at. The, uh, the radio control groups, there's quite a lot on there about these, uh, the modules. Mm -hmm. And uh, G4CBW suggests this frequency, I think we mentioned earlier, in an earlier talk, just above the, uh, the narrowband section for, to use with uh, okay. narrowband uh, transverters. So it gives you 4 meg bandwidth, so it's nice and clean, 2 mega symbols should be okay.